What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pitfall Lost Expedition. In the last episode, we found um, Nicole's father, and it turned out he was dead. Nicole then returned to camp, but Puska muttered some native words, and then this mysterious temple opened up. Um, so just freaking jump in here, I guess. Uh, but we can't because there's freaking Tetris blocks blocking our way. What the heck, man? Don't know how the heck Nicole passed this, but uh, okay. <laughs> Not really. How the heck did she pass this? Press Y dive into the underwater passage. Let's do it up, son. Yee yee, son! Son! Okay. This is the single most difficult underwater thing in the game, definitely. Um, I remember dying to this quite a few times. I don't know if it'll really be that difficult, but it'll be interesting to see. Also, I'm having a hard time seeing, speaking of see, oh, okay. Wait, I think we go down here, but I'm not entirely sure. Do we go up? Oh man, I'm lost. It's so dark! I think we're going the right way still. I don't think we're oh yeah, we definitely are. Look at those floating porcupines. It's like, oh, poor porcupines. <laughs> Even in death, these guys are annoying. <laughs> So many of them! Oh god, you can see everyone's eyes was pitch red. Really? That's it? To the altar of ages. I don't remember what this place is at all. What's, what's going on? Okay. I, I think this is probably a cutscene, right? I don't know what this place is. You come! Hey, my friend Nikki is missing. And I've got a hunch you've got some answers that you haven't been sharing. I had to see if you were the one, before I could tell you. Of course I am. Uh, the one what? The one who'd find the artifacts. They've needed 500 years in these temples to gather power. What power? The power to open the door to El Dorado and activate the Time Temple inside. To take me back to my city just as I left it 500 years ago. And to save my people from the Spanish invaders. You're from the past? The Spanish were about to invade our homeland. Pusca, El Dorado's high priest, argued that we should surrender to them. But my father, the king, chose instead to fight. Everyone was killed. But not before I was sent forward in time to realize my father's plan. Plan? In these temples, my father hid the artifacts that you now hold. Over the past, they've been slowly collecting power. And now... They hold the key to my people's future. So they're like batteries? Yes. I was sent forward to this time to collect them and return home. With the power of the artifacts, my father will be able to send El Dorado back into its own past. There my people will live out their lives in peace. They'll find only the ruins of a city that once existed a thousand years earlier. That's a risky plan. Puska thought so too, and he opposed my father. He was banished from El Dorado. And he walked the earth these last 500 years stealing the life force of others, waiting for the prophecy to come to pass, so he could return to the past and complete that which he started. He must be stopped. My father foresaw that a man from this time would be destined to help return the artifacts to El Dorado. Puska believes that man to be St. Clair, but St. Clair is a false promise. You are the one the prophecy predicted. You see, that's where you're wrong. I'm not the one. I'm not the two. I'm not even the seven. Maybe you did choose. You chose to hear the voice of your destiny. Will you help? All right, that's enough. I can't listen to any more of this. You've already messed up my life. Now you're gonna mess up his too? You'll get him killed by Pushka. And what are you doing here? Nicole's missing, and you're here playing 20 questions with- This jaguar is cursed. Ignore him. He's blessed with speech. He used to steal food from the villagers. He ignored my pleading, and then my warnings. So I cursed him with the power of speech. Now he fits in with neither mankind nor his own kind. Is this true? Well, uh, only the part about the stealing and the curse, and the rest of it. But these are small flaws, and they're easily overlooked. Puska has the missing artifact. You must help me get it. 
How did he get the last artifact? From the one they called McAllister. Are you gonna listen to the butterfly-obsessed Jaguar Cursor? Or are you gonna help Nicole, who's missing and needs you right now? Without you, all the people of El Dorado will be killed by the Spanish. Though it will happen 500 years ago, it will be your doing. I'll help. What? What? Oh, fine! Abandon Nicole! The way you abandoned that Dr. Crane. You didn't care about Crane, and you don't care about Nicole, and you don't care about me, the one true friend you have. I'm gonna head back to the ruins where St. Clair's men are, and get myself captured. That'll get me into their camp, and I can steal the final artifact. I'll meet you outside the gates of El Dorado. Be careful. That was like a horrible plan! So that was my great plan. Get captured on purpose by St. Clair's men, get the last artifact, and then fulfill an ancient prophecy by saving El Dorado. Me and my big mouth. <sighs> a desperate plan. Chapter 27! I'm just kidding, I don't know what chapter that is. But, um... Yeah, thankfully they put you back here and they kill you, apparently. Huh. Ow! There's a fucking jack bacon point! Drown! I'm sorry. <laughs> so, why, why do we have to get captured for it? Can we not just, you know, somehow get into the camp? Those walls don't look that big, right? Get into the camp somehow and then just, you know, attack. <laughs> um, what's the best way to go here? Because we have two directions, right? To the Renegade Territory. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Well, let's see where it leads, I guess. Oh, you know what? No, let's not go that way. Let's. Cause I do. I remember where it leads now. It leads back. Leads back to the renegade. Or not the renegade. The uh, the butterfly glades, and then I'd have to backtrack even more. I think. Maybe. Ah, uh, whatever. This way is probably faster, regardless. I think. <laughs> There's a lot of thinking here, you guys. You don't know. So, kind of a low blow by a quick claw there to bring up my, well, I was going to say father, but he's not really my father. Um, I, you know, I bring her up for my parental gu guardian. But I mean, I, I don't know. It's also, I think, uh, the, the whole plan with saving her people by going 500 years in the past or a thousand, was it a thousand? Um, is kind of stupid because, yes, her people in particular will live, but what about all their descendants? What, you, like, what if she claims that in a thousand years the Spanish will get there and there'll be nothing but ruins? But why is that? Like, why oh, does she yeah. think it'll be ruins in a thousand years? Why why not just have the civilization thrive, right? I don't know, a bit weird to me. I mean, it's like one of those, we'll save my people in the future, well, the future generations, well, they're kind of on their own. It's kind of silly, but, you know, <laughs> what can I do about that? At least we'll be saving some people, right? Uh, it'll also be interesting, like, maybe Harry's future will change as well. Maybe none of this would have happened. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I'm glad I made that jump. Alright, thankfully we're already... Oh, but we have to climb up the Mama Ula Tower again. Not something I'm looking forward to. I wish there was like a quick way up. You only had to do this once, and then once you did it, there's a quick way up, but there's not. That I know of. Pretty dang sure there isn't at all. And then again, there's so little resources on this game, it's impossible to really know for sure. Although I feel like I probably would have found it if it was. Well, at least we're almost up already. Please make that. Yeah! Made it! Now, dynamite is really powerful. There's one enemy it can't kill. Well, there's actually probably a few, but one enemy it can't kill are these guys. They disappear for a bit, stuns them, but. They come back? There you go. Takes them a little while, but he totally comes back. Alright, is this still open? I sure hope it is. It is, good. Get out of here, pines. I think that's the way we want to go. I think. 
Ah. I should probably check that, to be honest. I know this, this leads to the jungle trail, right? Woo! Bats jumping! Did I go the wrong way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, it just leads there. Uh, the jungle trail's over here, isn't it? Ha! A fast! Army T! I don't know why I'm a pirate, but I am! Uh, let's double check here to make absolute sure I'm going the right way, so I'm not wasting everybody's time. I am indeed going the right way. That is excellent, excellent. Once again, shouldn't really take too long. Even just going through these areas the first time doesn't take very long. I do like to take my time a little more and going through an area for the first time. Plus, I don't. Well, we didn't have no. We didn't have the run ability coming through here the first time. Hello, monkeys. Bye, bye, monkeys. <laughs> I love the <laughs> from all of them waking up. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, I think it would actually be quicker to go this way, to be honest. Huh, interesting. Let's get rid of this raft once and for all. We don't need it no more. Let's, uh. Ah! Uh, ah! Scorpianos. Can they climb up here? I feel like it'd be kind of silly if they could. It doesn't look like they can. How very silly of them. So, I don't know why we're gonna go get captured, but I, I guess we're gonna go get captured, so. Let's go get captured! Right, so. Oh no! <laughs> I made a horrible mistake! Just, oh, oh, oh! Why is that guy not trying to eat me? <sighs> like, oh, I'll let you live today. I'm not very hungry at the moment. <laughs> Alright. So, the whole reason why I showed you guys the excavation camp was kind of. It kind of makes sense with the storyline that I had already would have discovered it. But it's kind of weird as well because it's like this is really well hidden, right? So what if I didn't discover this? How the heck would Harry possibly know where St. Clair's excavation camp even was? Hmm. Also, why didn't this happen the first time? And by this, I mean that. Huh? Well, well. Look who we have here. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, good lord. Is the obligatory, obligatory section of the game where you lose all your items and you gotta start from nothing. Let me tell you guys, this is actually a pretty difficult section of the game. Ooh, there's two things there. Look at all the things. So many things. St. Clair's Excavation Camp. Ow. Ow. Let me out of here! I will keep hitting my head until you... Please. <laughs> Uh, I know we're kind of short on time here, however, I do want to try and do this all in one episode, so we're going to call it there, as crazy as that sounds. I know, it's insane, right? Wow, it is so dark, I can't see freaking anything. And yeah, we seriously, we have nothing. All the things are gone. So, let's read our notes real quick, and then call it an episode. Okay, we do have two entries. Entry 24, January 25th, 1935, 4.40 p.m. Oh boy, go back to camp. Bitten Binder said that Nicole had come through... And she used some spell and opened up a hidden entrance to a temple. And I'd been there all this all the time, right under right under Bittenbinder's nose. Didn't make any sense, and he couldn't explain it any better than that. But it didn't matter. I headed in. Had to swim through a sunken ruin. Don't know how Nicole could have made it through. Uh, she must be tougher than I thought. Eventually made it to the other side. Entered a room that looked like the ar other artifact rooms I'd found. But this time there was no artifact. Instead, I found Mike. She told me she had been waiting for me, not just today, but for 500 years. She said that from the past and on a mission. She said she's from the past and on a mission to save her people and El Dorado itself from the invading Spanish horde. Apparently her people had a limited mastery of time travel. She had been sent forward in time to collect the four artifacts and take them back so that they could be used as power con conduits to send their entire city farther into the past to escape their destruction. And Puska. Puska is from El Dorado too, 500 years ago. 
He was banished for betraying El Dorado to the Spanish and has walked the earth waiting for the right time to return home and gain his revenge. I guess he thinks he's trying to save El Dorado too by capulating to the Spanish, but he should know his history better than that. It was a lot to take in, and then Quickloss showed up, and things got even more complicated. It turns out the sorcerer that had given him the power of speech was actually Mike, and that it wasn't a gift. It was a curse for being a cowardly cat, stealing food from the villagers. Quicklaw admitted it was true, but said it wasn't important. He only wants to find Nicole and needs my help, but Mike needs help too. St. Clair's got the final artifact, and she needs all four to go back in time to save her people. So I had to choose, and I chose to help Mike. Quicklaw took it hard, accused me of some stuff. Well, it hit hard and close to home, and took off. But I've got to focus now on helping Mike. Hopefully Nicole's tough enough to take care of herself. So the plan is to allow myself to get captured outside of St. Clair's camp. That way I'll be able to get in, steal the last artifact, and bring it to Mike. It's a long shot, but it's got to work. So my question is, Mike's been waiting 500 years. Could she not wait like an extra day or something for me to find Nicole and help her? I mean, it seems a bit silly to me. It's like, we don't need to rush this now. I mean, regardless, she's going to time travel anyway, so we're really not on like a tight time schedule, right? Anyways, entry 25. January 26th, 1935, 5.50 a.m. Ow! Did anyone get the license on that truck? Man, what a headache. Okay, just woke up. After being captured and knocked out by St. Clair's goons, I'm in a cage. All my gear is gone, including the artifacts. Oh, even the artifacts. <gasps> Does that mean they have all four artifacts? Uh-oh. But that's okay. Part of the plan. Just gotta break out of this cage and avoid being spotted by the guards. Sneak through the compound and retrieve all my gear. Find the artifacts and escape. No problem. I live for this kind of stuff. Stupid plan, but amazing gameplay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe already. It's definitely, if you enjoy my videos, that's definitely the best way to help me and my channel grow. Um, so you can see more videos like this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye. I'm waving in the dark. Bye.